In this tutorial, we will focus on the color by measure tool in the image processor of MyPAR. This is a quite powerful and unique offering of MyPAR, which allows you to not only uh, extract quantitative data per feature that you've detected, things like size and shape, but also colorize the features accordingly and even view a histogram of the measured data. So we will work in the image processor today and we'll begin by opening an image and taking some measurements. So here is a common demo image that we use with particles in a matrix. We have a recipe which detects the particles and the matrix. And if you've seen the measure features tutorial, you may be familiar with the approach to generating measurements. If that's all you wish to do, if you don't wish to colorize, that can be done by showing the particular image that you want to measure and clicking measure features. This will open a interface to check off the different measurements. And I wanted to mention we do have a color features by measurements checkbox down here that if checked after hitting generate, the measurements that are generated will directly be imported into the tool that we're about to demonstrate. Let me also say that you're, if, if you're in layers mode, uh, you are faced with a choice when executing the measure features or color by measure tool to say, since you're not looking at a particular step right now, you're looking at two layers, which layer do you want to use uh, for these measurements? So let's go over to the color by measure tool and we'll use the particles for quantification. So this tool allows you to uh, load in previous measurements that have been made. If you've already made some and maybe you've made some custom edits to them in Excel, you can load those in. Uh, but more commonly, generate uh, new measurements to color code features with. So let's choose a couple. Let's choose the equivalent diameter, which is the diameter of every object if it was a uh, circle of the same area, the ferrets diameter, which is the longest length that fits inside the feature, and the eccentricity, which is a measure of elongation. Zero is a perfect circle, one is a perfect line. Anything in between is a measure of elongation. So we'll hit generate and we'll then make those measurements for all features. We haven't calibrated the magnification, so things like diameter will be in pixels. Feel free to check out the calibrating magnification tutorial for insight as to how and why to do this. But we now have a spreadsheet of measurements per feature. And of course we can export that if we want to save it, if it hasn't been saved already. Uh, but more excitingly, if we click on any cell in any of these columns, that column of data will then be color coded onto the image. So let's say we want to color by diameter. Just pick cell in the diameter column. And now these features are colored according to diameter. You also get the corresponding diameter diameter histogram on the right. And whatever row you have selected, that particular feature is highlighted in the image. So you can quickly inspect the column to say which feature has a diameter of 92, that one. And if you want to go the other direction, you can quite easily. The ID tool is automatically selected, and with that active, just clicking a feature in this image will highlight it, and it will show you the corresponding row in the column that you have selected. Let's say you want a color by ferrets diameter. Just click a cell in that column. Now you're colored by ferrets diameter. You can adjust the number of bins for the histogram or the font size for the display. You also get the mean, min, max, and standard deviation values of whatever column you've selected. Right click on these to copy them to the clipboard in order to paste them into any report that you're working on. And if we click over to eccentricity, you'll see now we're colored according to eccentricity or elongation where blue are very round features, yellow are more elongated features. So this is a quite powerful tool to let you visualize how measurements are distributed within your image. It can illuminate trends that you didn't otherwise see. You can, of course, generate your spreadsheet of measurements for other analyses, 
take a look and save your histogram or save the histogram data, the count versus x-axis values into a spreadsheet to plot in your plotting software of choice if you want to do curve fitting or other things to the histogram. And the, uh, the sky is really the limit with this tool. Any measurements in this dialog can be mapped out feature by feature. Um, and the ability to export your spreadsheet out into Excel, make modifications to it, say multiply something by a factor or apply a function to something and generate a new column, then load that spreadsheet back into MyPAR and colorize from that modified spreadsheet. So that's all we wanted to show today with custom measurements. Please let us know if you'd like any help or have any feedback on this tool. And as always, contact us with your custom recipe and custom training needs. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.